Hi everyone, it's Keely. Welcome back to another video. Um, this week, I thought that I would do something a little bit different. Um, this week, I decided to start a new sketchbook with you guys. Um, so, normally I link all of the supplies that I use down below, but I used so many random things from so many random places that I don't think I'm going to do that this time. So I'm starting this out with a sketchbook I got from Blix, um, and I made this custom book plate to go on the cover page. Um, as you can see, I had some writing on the inside cover page of this sketchbook because I had previously started it, but it started really, really badly. So I cut out the first few pages um, that were initially there and then decided to cover up the ink splotches and words with a book plate. And for those of you who don't know, a book plate is kind of basically this, which is a page or a sticker of some sort that goes in the front of a book that you can add your name to so that um, people are able to identify who the book belongs to. Um, here you can see I'm taking some silver washi tape to stick down the little flap from <laughs> cutting out the old pages. And then I'm going in with this cute little stag beetle, um, what do you even call this? It's a stag beetle made out of uh, paper that my sister had made me. Um, she made me him a while ago, and he's so cute that I kind of wanted to frame him, but he had gotten a little damaged when I moved, and he wasn't really in framing condition anymore, so I decided to stick him down with some cute um, blue masking tape. Um, these look like washi tapes, but they're actually a set of colorful masking tapes that I was gifted. Um, that's the other thing. A lot of the things that I'm using here are things that I was gifted or that people made me or that I made myself. So they're not really things that you can buy anywhere um, or I don't know where they were purchased, so I can't really link them. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of talk about the things that I'm using so that you guys all know what's going on. Um, here you can see I'm sticking down just some cute little iridescent stars. Um, and then I'm getting out some more washi tape to, you know, go to town. Um, but I had never done a video like this before and I always thought it would be really cute and fun to do. Um, I was kind of getting the, the itch to start a new sketchbook. I hadn't worked consistently in a sketchbook in a really long time. And I knew that I had this one that I could, you know, revamp. And I was like, you know what, I think I want to do that. And may as well film it for the tubes. So hopefully you guys liked this. If you guys don't really like these types of videos, just let me know. And we'll go back to regular art videos next week. Um, but I thought uh, doing this little, like, mixed media sort of project on here would be kind of fun. Because it also has some sketching included. Um, but yeah, so with the sketchbook, I wanted to make it a little more personal. And not just, like, full of boring graphite sketches. I wanted it to be fun and I wanted to be enthusiastic and excited about working in it every day. So I also, as you can see here, included some uh, defective stickers and prints and whatnot that I had. Um, this sticker, for example, had gotten sprayed with a little bit of water somehow and so it had a whole bunch of miscolored beads on it. Um, but I thought they were pretty cool and made the, the sticker a lot more unique and interesting so I decided to put it in there. Um, but like I said, I hadn't been working in a sketchbook in a long time, and it's it's good to work in a sketchbook for all sorts of reasons. Um, so I decided to start a new one with you guys. Um, so a few of the things that are good reasons to work in a sketchbook I thought I would talk about so that you all might feel a little more motiv motivated to work in yours. Um, they do things like they improve your skills. You have the time and space and the safety to practice without having to present, if that makes sense. Um, you don't have to worry about everything being perfect. Um, you can just make some art, and if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, you don't. You are able to practice and make all sorts of good stuff without having that pressure of presenting it when you're done. Um, so that in itself is just kind of relaxing and that's part of why I enjoyed doing this so much is because it was just a fun little project that didn't really have an end goal. I just wanted to make something cute that made me happy and I did that and it felt really good to do it. Um, I don't usually have the time to do that in my life, um, but yeah, I just thought it would be kind of fun. Um, it also helps you with muscle memory. This is something that a lot of people ask me about how I draw hair. Um, and honestly, the best thing I can tell them is that it's muscle memory. I've spent so much time practicing hair 
in things like sketchbooks or in sketches and whatnot um, that at this point drawing hair is just muscle memory um, so doing things over and over until you have it perfected until you have it exactly how you like it um, just helps build that um, yeah like you can see here I'm also sticking down a uh, defective print that I had um, this print you guys might remember because it went up in my shop not that long ago um, but I'm only offering it as a super large size, but I had printed it really small um, to check that the colors were right, but without wasting a whole bunch of ink and paper. So you can see me sticking that down with all these cute little rolls of masking tape. Um, I had a whole set of this tape gifted to me for my birthday from my parents. Um, so I think they got it off Amazon, and it's it specifically says masking tape, not washi tape on it. So I don't know if you guys maybe want to look for it, but that's all I know about it. Um, but yeah, some of the other things that you can do in sketchbooks is you can, uh, you can experiment with colors, which you see me doing here in some ways. Um, but yeah, it's a really good opportunity to, you know, just kind of experiment with anything, not even just color, but, uh, composition, poses, whatnot. Um, it's just kind of a, like, free pass. <laughs> You don't have to worry about what it looks like at the end you just have to explore and see what you like and what you don't like and what works for you and you know all sorts of good things can come from that um like this for example was a sketch i was just kind of doing for fun just to like help fill the page um the page was full of just colors and uh textures and ideas that i was really liking um so i decided to draw a blue demon girl to go with the uh blue haired demon girl in the print there um, and then this eventually evolved into a idea for a sticker pack, which I then did several more sketches in the next page um, that are not included in this video, but I did several more sketches on the next page, and they eventually all got turned into a sticker pack, which will hopefully be released in my shop soon. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's stuff like that where just like casual fun can develop into really great ideas. and. I just, there's really nothing bad that can come out of working in a sketchbook. It's, I don't know, I just need to work in it more. I don't know why I stopped, but it's fun and relaxing. And I think you guys should definitely hop on the bandwagon if you don't currently work in a sketchbook. And plus it makes it a lot more interesting and fun for me if I get to do this like multimedia sort of scrapbooking, journaling, sketchbooking almost. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to track my ideas. And that's another thing I really like about sketchbooking is that there's really no, like, rules exactly. Uh, you can stick whatever the fuck you want in it. See, like, here I had an extra sticker laying around, so I cut it out and stuck that shit down because I was like, you know what? This is the Demon Girl page, and I like blue, and these all have blue in them, so that's gonna work for me. Um, but yeah, you can... I kind of used it as a mood board here, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. You can totally use it as mood boards. You can print out images that you find inspiring online. Um, that can be your way of planning, you know, future drawings, future, like, major artworks, all of that fun stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are no rules to working in your sketchbook. And I think that took me a really long time to realize. Um, but whatever the whatever you want in this thing, you can put in it. Um, I stuck all sorts of stickers I had laying around from uh, washi tape packs, stuck some of my own stickers in it. I have a few stickers from other people that I plan to put on the front. I didn't include them in this video because I, don't, I feel kind of weird about including other people's stickers on my sketchbooks for some reason, um, because clearly they need to be credited for their artwork, but... Um, it just makes it kind of hard to do when you're just like showing the cover of your sketchbook so decided not to include that in the video um, and then here you can see me doing that thing where I'm trying something out and then it you know goes horribly but that's fine because it's in my sketchbook um, I had started out with this sketch um, I used a Prismacolor Cole Erase pencil in rose um, to give it a go and then I was like hey I want to like paint some cool like ombre smoky shit going on here and I knew full well clearly that this was not <laughs> watercolor paper um, but it went so horrible and it just looked so bad and the smoke didn't come out right that I just took this sketch and taped it over the top um, I print out my sketches that I sketch on my iPad so that I can transfer them to watercolor paper when it's time to make a traditional painting um, that's just a process I like to do, and uh, 
yeah, so I tend to end up having these extra, like, printed out sketches a lot of the time, and I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to throw them away because, you know, it seems like kind of a waste. It's art. Um, so I decided to stick one in here, and that doubled as covering up the horrible disaster that was that. Um, I had also not really thought about the fact that that watercolor was going to soak through and affect the page behind it. So that first page that you saw me doing all sorts of cute stuff too, and then the book plate was all like low-key ruined after that. Um, the book plate like didn't smear because I finally found sticker paper that is awesome. Um, but the book book plate didn't smear, but it did, did kind of like darken in a few areas, which sucked. Um, I guess I could peel it out and start over, but for the purposes of this video I decided not to. And it also made the washi tape I had stuck down to the back side not really want to stick anymore, so that was great. Um, but yeah, I, I just tried to stick with the, the mindset that, hey, this is your sketchbook. You're allowed to fuck it up. You're allowed to make mistakes. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think I tend to fall in that uh, perfect trap a little too often. Like, if it's not perfect, I don't want to do it, I don't want to work on it. Um, and that makes my work a lot more stressful than I think it needs to be, especially on stuff like this where it's just like casual, um, you know, it's not client work, it's not anything that I intend to sell, it's just me having fun, having a good time, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you so much everyone who tuned into the video into this video. If you like it, let me know, and I will do more of these in the future. If you absolutely fucking hate it, uh, let me know, and I will not do any more of these in the future. We'll see how that goes. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find all my social media down below. Let me know what kind of stuff you guys like to do in your sketchbooks. I'd really like to know in what ways you use them and, you know, what you guys like to include. So let me know that in the comments down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!